In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to properly clean your dog's ears. Hey everybody, it's Gwendolyn, and I just want to thank you guys so much for all of your support. I love you guys. I just need you to know that if you're following my videos, you're doing it at, at your own risk. Any people, pets, objects that are hurt or harmed, I cannot be held responsible. Um, now that that's over, let's go have some fun. So this is the product that we recommend. It's for cleaning your dog's ears. Now, if you think that your dog has an ear infection, my only advice is just to go to your veterinarian to find out what's happening with that ear. Now, um, I'm gonna show you how to clean her healthy, already like really clean ears that she has. And then I have my favorite boy boy upstairs that has not so clean ears that I'm gonna show you how to clean them. All right, so shh, her ear, as you can see, is already super duper healthy and clean pretty much. So about once a week, we take a little bit of that Zymox and just try to clean out a little, but there's not much to clean as you can see. We keep them pretty good. Um, same with her other ear. So I'm gonna just gonna quick show you how we, on a weekly basis, clean her ears. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Cymox. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit on this pad here. You can find these at any local store, by the way. And I'm gonna put my thumb on it and I'm just gonna rub inside her ear very gently and get all the dirt and grease out very gently and you don't want to get too deep either because that could hurt them and like as you can see there's not much on there there's a little bit of funky stuff on there but not much and then I'm going to do the same exact thing with the other ear with a different pad yes of course with a different pad because God forbid there was something in that ear or wrong with that ear. You don't want to spread it to the other ear by using the same pad. So. Before I go and get my baby to show you, I'm just going to show you a picture of what an effect what an infected ear looks like. Um, there's a bunch of things that can happen, which it can either smell, it could get, it gets really swollen, um, red, your dog will maybe start to itch it, um, things like that. Uh, it will really smell though. Like usually there's a big whiff of stuff. And sometimes it will be down inside the ear where you can't see it, or sometimes it will be up on the top of the ear where you can see it. So it all just depends. So here's a picture of what an infected ear looks like. I'm gonna show you ears that are super dirty, but not infected. Um, so here, as you can see, we let these go on purpose so for your guys' sake, but I'm just gonna show you how dirty these guys are in here. Ugh. You can see it all deep and down there, all the dirt and gook in there. So this is what a dirty ear, but not an infected ear would look like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Zymox and, okay, okay, I have two things to go over. He's looped up because he's a little bit of a derp and he is in a horrible, horrible haircut right now because he is in the middle of growing out and soon to be a fabulous haircut. So um, ignore his haircut and that he's tied up outside. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take my Zymox and I'm gonna go to the ear that's super dirty and I'm gonna open it up with my fingers. And since, because I don't wanna put this thing down in there because then the tube will get dirty, I'm going to open it up with my fingers like this 
and drip it down. Now you're gonna put quite a few drips down there because of how dirty his ears are. And then after that, you're gonna, you can even, you're gonna do this, you're gonna rub his ear gently so you don't hurt him, but, or her. Um, you can hear the squishing in there too. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ear. And another reason why we have him outside is because he's gonna shake. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go do the other ear now. Okay, so this is what the ear is gonna look like when the stuff sits in there and then he shakes. It like really gets all that stuff to come up, as you can see. And then I'm just gonna take um, a little round pad here and just wipe that stuff out as best as I can. Pretty gross. <laughs> Very gently. I mean, you can already see how much dirt this pad is picking up alone. And then, look at that. Oh, uh. <laughs> um, so you're gonna do this every few days, and eventually, after about a week or so, the ears should be looking a lot better, and they will definitely clear up, and hopefully one day look like mama's. Okay, so these are two ways to clean out your dog's ears. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you I hope you learned something from this. Um, and please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.